Okay, start. Okay. In my philosophy classes, before the beginning, I ask questions to my students. Just uh, before entering the class, sometimes I don't know which question I will ask. Just random question, but always question about critical thinking to warm them up. And one of the questions I, uh, I remember, it is just, I didn't expect such answer. It was about Pope in, it was in 2007, I believe, that uh, it was second anniversary or first anniversary of jo uh, Pope Paul who died. What was his name, Polish Pope? John Paul II. Yeah, the names Paul II, Paul the Fifth, and Henry the what is repeating the same <laughs> names. Yeah. Anyway, therefore it's confusing for me. And when and they in Poland they made a bonfire, huge bonfire, mm -hmm. in celebration mm -hmm. in honor of this. And then somehow there is a picture of one of these bonfires, and then you see a swath of a guy contour. I've seen and, the picture. Yeah. Yes. And then uh, I, I put on projected on the smart board and show them and looks like hunchback old guy and it, since our mind is primed it, this is Pope and it, it relates to kind of looks like Pope and I, I asked them what do you think this is about 30 students in my introduction to philosophy or philosophy of religion or metaphysics one of these classes guess what 70% mm. of my students these are college students some of them, in fact, were finishing University of Arizona, taking this class to just fill the requirement to graduate. Some of them uh, were seniors in university. 70% of them says, well, this is really interesting, could be a miracle. And some of them says, it's a miracle. And then I said, guys, girls, what are you doing? This could be Photoshop, doctoring. Yeah. You didn't even ask a question that. And this could be... You didn't ask how long this fire flickered, how many different pictures it made. Right. The picture of the dog and camel <laughs> right. and pig and yeah. pope. You didn't question it. Don't forget the Virgin Mary. Yeah. Virgin Mary's yeah. everywhere. Yeah. Even if it is just true, not Photoshop, it could be millions of pictures. Maybe one of them is taken. And three, you didn't even question. Maybe it tells that pope is in, in hell. hell. Yes. Good. Not reasoning. Therefore, religious people could be very educated, but since, since childhood they are brainwashed, they are just fed with stories, they are basically have tendency, whenever you have a holy word, frame it in holy name, then any stories goes. It opens up a hole, like a, a computer program, mm -hmm. have a whole uh, flaw in it, and then hackers can go through that. This is hacking the brain. The religious clergymen had their brain and enter. Therefore, in the beginning of classes, I warn my students. I say, in this class, we don't have sacred cows. We slaughter them, we skin them, we chop them, and even we may barbecue and eat them. <laughs> Therefore, if you are a religious person, if you have sacred cow, this class may be dangerous for you and emotionally you may get hurt. Yep. Or if you are atheist like you, if you have also kind of emotional ties to your atheism, we'll question that one equally. It is equal opportunity of question. Good. And therefore, leave the class. But so far, I haven't seen one student in first class leaving. Maybe sometimes they leave. I don't know how much is related to that warning. But in the class, I say I'm not the professor. It call me with my first name. I am one of you. You are the judge. You are the one, the philosopher. I, but we will communicate by reason, through, according to the rules of logic like uh, 19 rules of inference. I don't know whether you are familiar with mm -hmm. that. Anyway, I was going to read you the verse, 3130. Did those who reject not see that the heavens and the earth were one mass and we tore them apart? That we made from the water everything that lives, will they not acknowledge? Another verse I have in uh, chapter four as a footnote, end note of 82, verse 82, I have the list of verses by scientific references of the Quran. All right, read that, read that phrase again. Did those who reject, like you, mm. not see that the heavens and earth, heavens in plural says the whole space, yeah. and the heavens, and the earth were one mass, were one point. It doesn't say point, it says mass. It mass, says one. yes. It one. says one. Yeah. Okay. Uh, in the Samawati wal Ardi kana taratkan, they were unified, they were together. You can say that. And we tore them apart. We tore them apart. And there is another verse that says, you don't need to trust me, you can later change, but assume that there is such a verse. 
assume there is another verse that says, Wa inna le we are expanding it, the universe. Another verse, we are going to fold like folding the scroll back. It is a closed universe, which is, um, I think, right now more scientists inclined to open universe model. But there are two models, one of them is one, none of them is proven. And is that the first time that anybody has ever speculated that water uh, was involved in life? No, I'm not saying that. And I don't have evidence for that. But what well, I'm saying... You're, you're saying it as if it was some sort of revelation. No. Muhammad actually... Well, wait a minute here. Yes. Okay. If, if, if he's just repeating what was already known at the time, and I, I believe the fact that water was, in, was involved in the, the origin of life and water was acquired of life... Uh, is pretty old, and I think it predates uh, Islam. If you're saying that this is some sort of a justification that Muhammad had some sort of a divine knowledge, I think you better back that up. Okay, hear me. Hear me. I'm not saying these, these particular verses shows the Quran is word of God. I'm oh, saying, okay. I'm saying, this shows a little bit respect, a little bit respect to this book, because during time of Prophet Muhammad, People had all kinds of stupid ideas about how universe was created, about stories of the uh, snake and things. In fact, hadith books, 200 years though, they are closer to us. They should have more information, scientific information. They are full of silly stories about creation, attribute to Muhammad. But the Quran I'm seeing talks about cosmology, biology. In fact, some biology verses made like a Christian, a Christian doctor, atheist doctor to become Muslim, like Maurice Bouquet, just because the correct, accurate description of stages of embryology, the way it is described, it just pulled his attention. It's incredible. In all this area, I'm challenging you, not a single error. If Muhammad was copying from here and there, how in the world, even they are not original ideas, let's say, even let's say in the past one philosopher said similar things, but many others said different things. They were very diverse ideas. Somehow he managed to collect or repeat the, the accurate ones. That should be put a question mark about this. Very interesting. At least this guy was so smart, he was able to distinguish the false one from the true ideas because that time there was no evidence for those things. And I am saying modern with our modern science, not a single verse contradict. There is only one verse picked by atheists. They just jump over that. They say, here it is, contradict with science. When you look at it, it's taken out of context. Oops. Oh, atheism is falling. Atheism is falling. <laughs> <laughs> See? This Save is it. physics. Save cause it. Cause and effect. A cause and effect. Cause and effect. OK, go ahead. Now, hold on a second.